Oh my, oh yeah, it is, it's actually not that hot in here. We're just getting ready because the U.S. Open of Surfing is coming up. Yay! Okay, it's one of those things that I, of course, love to do. It's down in Huntington Beach. Anyway, it's been crazy. Um, we're going to be coming to you. Yes, next week from the U.S. Open of Surfing. Meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to bring old camera on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Uh, and actually, today, it really is, because Boehner basically, yesterday the Republicans caved to Obama on the, on the filibuster, uh, and today Boehner caved to the Obama on immigration. He's what? going to give Obama the part of the immigration bill that Obama most needs, which is the DREAM Act. No! Yeah, they said that, I mean... Um, Why is Banner still in office? He's not going to be in office. Okay, here's what one of them said. He wants to know what these people are getting from this man to betray their party. I mean, it's pure and simple. Their party says that these people are here... Okay, uh, Bill O'Reilly, well, they're not here illegally. It's a civil... There, it's, a civil it's a civil thing. He said, okay... If you break a law, it is a crime. It is doesn't make any difference if it's a civil thing or not. If it is on the books, you are not supposed to be across the border without a thing. It is a crime. Mm -hmm. And the Republicans can't get people to understand that. Well, but, uh, but they give you this nonsense again this morning. Every day he said the nonsense. Well, this is going to add jobs and it's going to bring it's going to increase the economy. No, it can't add jobs. Because they're already here. You can't add anything. If you're going to make them legal so that they can legally work at what they're doing illegally, it actually decreases their economic clout because they've got to start paying taxes, mm -hmm. which they weren't paying before, which means the economy. I mean, the government itself, or the Pew Institute says, for a decade, people are going to be making less money in this country and the and economy is going to be downsized for a decade. Why? At least. That's until... The next run of illegals gets comes into the country. And more unions unhappy with Obamacare. Oh yeah, I heard this this morning. They're taking, they're taking full pages out in national publications. We were promised this would not cost us any money. And then we were promised we could keep the, the health unions care. are. He said. Uh, he said we were promised everything, and not one single promise is being kept. You know, uh, it was they uh, total. I mean, they're total lies to them all. I mean, they, they, I was we, were, we were promised this would not uh, cost us jobs. Well, they said that one, they're actually, he did keep that promise. We're just not going to be full-time workers anymore in this country. Mm -hmm. They're really angry at this man because, I mean, everybody, anybody... Where, where, where did they think the money was coming from? They're Democrats. They're, a Democrat automatically thinks that somebody else is going to pay the bill. And then all of a sudden they find out that they're the ones that are paying the bills. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. That when they find out that it's going to hit them in their pocketbooks, they hate what's going on. They said that um, if things continue like it is, the Democrats are not going to hold the Senate, period. Because, they're, because of the way it works is for three election cycles in a row, the Democrats have had more Republicans up for re-election because what is, happens is, Democrats are dying off or taking other jobs because they don't want to be involved with Obama. But part of it is they don't have to win it if the Republicans just give it to them. The Republicans Democrats. are just giving them anything Obama wants, the Republicans are giving. Oh, the, oh what did Herbie Daddy say? This morning, one of the appeals courts that's in the back pocket of the Democratic Party ruled that what the President of the United States did with his recess appointment was unconstitutional and therefore any actions that they took in the last year was illegally done. Oh, what did the Republicans do? They gave him those people that the court ruled said did not have a legal right to be in a job and the Republicans just gave them to him yesterday. Mm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. And Pelosi parsing words on employer mandate. Yeah. They said, well, we're doing it because the economy is very fragile. And then if we don't, we, we have to help these people out. And, uh, and then they said, they also pointed out the fact they're not helping the average person, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make any difference because they said that it can't work because the, uh, the they know the employer mandate won't work because they're going to put everybody as part-time workers, which therefore means they're not hit by the mandate anymore. Second, the uh, young people have said, F you. <laughs> he said, well, said, if I wasn't paying anything for health care before, I'm sure in hell I'm not going to pay for health care now. So, yeah, so he's got to get, 
He's got to take. He said, "Oh, I'm, I'm living with mommy and daddy. I don't have to. I don't pay income taxes. So therefore, you can't dun me for something I don't have." So he's he's just he, he, he let the Democrats were living in this dream universe about how much. Well, they expected. The, the young people would make up the losses in the program. Mm -hmm. They're not even going to get in the program. And Washington Monument glows again amid restoration. I don't understand why that takes. I mean, we're in a world where you can build a skyscraper in a year and they take years to redo, re mm -hmm. uh, fix Marston Monument. And the Park Service has the money and they raise money from, I mean, okay, the Eisenhower Monument. The Eisenhower thing is basically in trouble now. I think it's one of these things that um, that Tom Hanks helped to put through, and and all of a sudden they no longer have the resources necessary to finish the project, which was overly funded to begin with by donations, which means mm -hmm. they looted the fund is what it means. And U.S. economic growth looks weaker in second quarter after subpar growth in retail. Yeah, they, they uh, but don't oh. Kirby Daddy said the market's going wild on the news that retail growth in all sectors was beneath what they expected. Oh, Kirby Daddy said, but don't worry. According to the news today, factory orders are up. But nobody's buying anything and they're not selling anything. So factory orders therefore cannot be up. And AG pushes for dialogue after Trayvon Martin shooting. Oh yeah, he's wanting the self-defense rules thrown out in the United States and they're going to investigate him. What? Yeah, the, the stand, they said that 30, uh, was it 37 of the states in this country have to stand your own, stand your ground in order to take out the legal problem with self-defense, mm -hmm. and um, uh, they, so he's wanting the federal government to intervene, which they can't do because of the states' rights thing, uh, and to get a stop because um, uh, like they, they, they said uh, uh, somebody, uh, well, Herdy Bay said he said there's no truth to the rumor that they, uh, that they said uh, you, you do realize that. Zimmerman's a Latino. He's no, he's not. He's a white person. He's a Latino. No, he's not. He's a white person. He's yeah, like, they looked said, at the picture of him. He, he, he said, here's his mom and dad. He said, oh, shit. <laughs> they said, I mean... I know. They still didn't realize that he's a Latino. They, uh, they absolutely said, they showed Holder the picture with parents, and they, one of the guys said, there's no truth that a, that a Holder said, oh, shit. They changed the opinion from the day he saw the picture of the parents oh and, this, and yesterday at the NAA. Yesterday, we've got to get rid of the stand your ground rules. The day before it was civil rights, now, because you can't, you cannot prosecute a minority. Against a minority for, I mean. No, you can't. And, and that's what uh, Russ Limbaugh said this morning on his broadcast. He said that, uh, you know who's allowed to say the N word whenever he wants to? Who? It's Mr. Zimmerman because he's a minority member, and and the and no less than the Attorney General of the United States said you can't prosecute a minority member for a hate crime if he's talking about another minority. Fine. But they're now starting to bring out the fact you're now seeing pictures of Zimmerman's. Okay, oh, why was Zimmerman's family, his his mother and father and his brother, not allowed in the courtroom? Because they look like they're Latin. They weren't allowed in the courtroom. No, they weren't allowed in the courtroom. Well, all you have to do is look at Zimmerman and tell he's Latino. They were, they've been whitening the pictures up when they send them out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're being sued over it, too. Oh, Barnes & Noble edges closer to break up as CEO quits amid losses. Yeah, well, I mean, these people created the, the, the re e-reader, and they never capitalized on it, which I... Okay, here's the problem. I don't have a cell phone. My, uh, our cell phones have all got built-in e-readers. My, I have three computer, three tablets with built, I have three, we have tablets with e-readers and I have two laptops with e-readers. So therefore, it made the nook, uh, it, it made the nook irrelevant, so. And Egypt unrest, interim leader outlines election timetable. Yeah, but Obama's demanding that the Muslim Brotherhood be put back into power, which is never going to happen. It has, oh, Herbie Daddy says, there are laws in virtually every Muslim country, including Iran, allow, about allowing the Muslim Brotherhood participation in government because they're Muslim extremists to the left of the Iranians. Mm -hmm. and the Tal they're to the left of the Taliban, for Christ's sake. And a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. That when every bit of the economic evidence shows that your economy is going backwards, you continually look foolish telling people it's not happening.